Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amla Maimun and I am a veterinary student. And in this video, we'll try and understand how to calculate the dose of the drugs, uh, specifically the drugs of the anesthesia before performing the surgery. Right? So they are very important for the veterinary studies. So let's get going. Okay. Uh, firstly, we have uh, this quotation. It reads as that there is no there are no safety anesthetic agents and there are no safe anesthetics procedure as well but there are only safe anesthetists so Robert Smith has said rightly that we have no any agent no any drug that is the safe anesthetic we can say and there is no any procedure uh, still known today uh, that is safe for the anesthesia but there there are only one thing that there are safe anesthetists right so the anesthesia is important very very important but in the case uh, some countries only allow the anesthesia to be provided by the veterinary licensed uh, personnel or persons so that it could be safe uh, anesthesia right moving forward and talking about what are the what are the things that we should need to be considered before performing the anesthesia right so there are three most important things we have to learn that uh, we should know that what is the body weight of an animal on the other hand we should know this is the very uh, you know this is the thing that we should already know about it because when the animal is going to come in our uh, clinics or when we have the animal uh, confrontation we can weight them easily but the thing that we should know is the drug dosage rate right while the drug concentration is already written, written on the vials of the many drugs right some of the drugs dosages are already written on the vials on the medicines prescription like but some of them don't write that but they are recommended by their uh, by their manufacturer or by the fd as well so this is the particular formula for calculating the dose uh, dose calculation for calculating the dose so standard dose right standard dose is something that is universal tool it is sometimes recommended by the manufacturer and sometimes right fda also recommended it that we have to use certain anesthetic uh, anesthetic drug up to certain limit not we have to exceed it right it depend upon the weight right we have to calculate we have to know the weight of an animal and then we have to multiply it right and we must know about the formulation of drug for example this is a, this the formulation of this thylacine is two percent it is written over here then we have we should know that two percent is equal to 220 mg right so we will write in front of it 20 mg simple as that moving forward and there here we have different uh, animals and in different animals how much anesthesia uh, how much sedative drug which is the xylazine xylazine is analgesic and it would be you know available in market in different names you can see over here in this name in, in this name right and its use is the sedative and analgesic it would be 2% right or 10% 10% is 100 mg per ml and 2% is 20 mg per ml. In the horses, this amount is, and we should know that that amount varies with the, with the kgs, right? And in the case of cats and dog have 1.1 to 2.2 mg per kg. Uh, in all through all the all the uh, uh, rules, IV, IM or uh, subcut right but for the iv i will recommend and some of the websites recommend that for the iv it would be 0 0.5 mg per 20 pounds right some of the websites recommend another thing but you have to go through you have to learn about this and you have to go through with the patient's condition and how much you want to provide the sedative condition to the animal as well Moving forward and talking about the catamine, catamine has different uh, 
dosage concentration you can see uh, this is anesthesia and in the market the, uh, that drug is available by different names like you can read that these are different names and by these different names the drug is available in the market and the, their vials contain uh, 100 mg per ml, ml means the 10 uh, percentage and their vial each vial has approximately the 10 ml uh, in the case if we talk about specifically so it is uh, 6 to 10 and some write as 5 mg per kg so it depends upon in which route you are going to give whether it is IV, IM or uh, right in the anesthesia you can give more than that right if you just wanted to restrain the animal right uh, as we know that in case of the animals we are we provide anesthesia for many purposes in case of the humans when the surgery when the, uh, when the when the doctor is going to perform the surgery so anesthesia is very important for that but animals are very uh, dangerous for the doctors as well for the veterinarians as well when they are in uh, when they are in their uh, in their furious uh, state right they are very harmful right for for that reason some of the veterinarians provide them anesthesia to calm them out and so that they could perform their uh, procedure or doctoral procedures or they can you know uh, diagnose them so that they could uh, inspect them for many purposes they uh, we use the anesthesia right lidocaine is also the regional uh, anesthesia right so their concentration written over here uh, so these are the kids and dogs in our university. I just picture them out and passed over here. If we take the kid as the example, right? Here is a kid as an example. And we are going to take the 0 0.5 mg per kg, right? Because uh, as I already noted that we know that uh, we have to take 0 0.5 mg per 20 pounds, right? So here we have the 10 kgs uh, pounds if we just divide it with the 2.2 you will be having the kgs right so it would be less than 10 kg or maybe equal than so 10 kgs and then we have the 2% drug here we are using the 2% drug then we have the 20 mg per kg so if you will divide it right how you will do it 0 0.5 into 10 divided by 20 mg per ml right here is the 0 0.5 mg per kg right mg per kg let me write it mg per kg and then 10 kgs kg kg will divide it or cancel out it mg mg will cancel out it and then you will have only the ml whatever will be amount that is 0 0.25 ml right let's calculate how much it would be in case of the syringe here we have the syringe 0 0.1 uh, ml syringe so 0 0.25 ml would be over here till here we will uh, just fill this uh, injection or syringe up to this with the xylazine and we will provide it with to the animal right now we have another dose calculation in case of the dog what you will do it you know that you have the dose concentration 1 mg per kg you will take this and you will multiply with the the uh, uh, weight of an animal and then you have the concentration of the drug it is 20 mg per ml right mg per ml kg kg will divide it mg mg over here right this is mg per kg and this kg kg will divide it mg mg will divide it and then you have one almost let me just uh, calculate it with the help of the okay one into 50 and divided by 20 it would be 0 0.75 right 0 0.75 so check here that how much it would be in case of the syringe so you have to just inject 0 0.75 right over here till here right 0 0.75 okay over here till till here 0 0.75 okay then moving forward in talking about the atropine sulfate with the hell with the atropine sulfate because it is anticholinergic drug 
and when you are providing the sedation or the anesthetic drugs to the animal it is most common that they you know most commonly they uh, they slivate their slivation is very common when they are in the sedative stage right so to stop that to block that we mostly provide the uh, atropine sulfate atropine sulfate is mostly used in the case of the bradycardia when the when the animal is not having the normal breathing we most commonly provide the atropine sulfate to that so it's normal dose or standard dose we can say it is 0 0.04 so, uh, mg per kg when you are going to provide with the xylazine so let's calculate its formula okay so if you have the weight of an animal for example uh, the weight of the animal is 0. Uh, uh, sorry mg per kg standard dose into 10 kg we can write it and then you have the 0. 0.4 mg per ml 0. 0.4 mg per ml i think it would be 1 ml but let me calculate it with the calculator 0. 0.04 sorry 0, 0.4 4 mg per kg into 10 kgs and then we have to divide we have to divide it with the 0 0.4 so yeah i'm right it is 0, 0.1 ml right just we will provide to the animal 1 ml of the atropine sulfate so what is here written it is very simple xylazine will often cause vomiting in dogs and uh, it is it is you know it is very necessary to uh, stop the um, oh, normal eating of an animal before providing to the xylazine this can be useful to empty stomach contents but very careful to prevent aspiration but be very careful to prevent aspiration Xylazine causes secondary AV nodal block in dogs. Monitor cardiovascular activity carefully during use in dogs. So every anesthetic drug has some of the uh, right we can say that the drawbacks as well and therefore we say that there are no any safety procedure there are no any safe agents but there are only the safe one thing there is these are the anesthetist thetist, right and who are anesthetists they are the veterinarians right in the case of the animals veterinarians yeah right so it is the most advantageous topic let's move forward in talking about for example here is a dog and we have provided uh we have to perform certain surgery or we have to restrain it so what we will do and this is a tourniquet uh, this is a tourniquet it is used in the you know uh, if we want to uh uh, just want to um, uh, reappear or we want that the certain type of the uh, arteries or vessels to appear more prominently we use this tourniquet right this is a bandage some type such type of some type of the uh, sub, uh, some type of the bandage it is right and then we have this prominent cephalic vein in case of the upper limb and in case of the lower limb or hind limb there is a femoral vein right and here we have the iv catheter in the with the help of the iv catheter we can use uh, the anesthesia or any drug many times right uh, so this is all about our topic hope you understand this and if you like this video so please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching this